Pool excellence is not about excellent pool. It's about becoming someone. Yeah. Yeah. Like what? A student. You gotta be a student of human moves. See all the greats that I know of to a man were students of human moves. Students of human moves. Yeah. That's my area of excellence. Right from the very beginning, there was such a sense of, uh, of exploration, of lack of ego, of, uh, of uh, willingness to, uh, oh, I don't know, jump off cliffs. And when you have that kind of uh, uh, feeling going in, it's pretty hard to make mistakes. Did you do all your own shots in the movie? You went into training for that, or you remembered it from the hospital? No, uh, I lose my eye pretty quickly, and I get it back pretty quickly. Cruz was fantastic, had never had a pool cue in his hand. Really? And he was as good, if not better, than I was in five weeks. Now, this nation at the moment is obsessed with that kind of activity. Do you watch it? Have you been here long enough to watch? I was up until 1.30 this morning watching Dennis. Park, no, Dennis Parker? Taylor. Taylor. Dennis Taylor. Watching Dennis Taylor win the championship. Um, Joanne, being the perverse lady that she is, had never watched a, a billiard game in her life and was um, keeping the entire hotel awake last night jumping up and down on the coffee table, which I thought was rather tacky. <laughs> but um, we stayed up. It, it, um, it was uh, an extraordinary match. In the United States, nine ball, which is fast and quick and loud and noisy, is the game of television. Uh, straight fool used to be the game. But uh, snooker here is, uh, is tougher. The table is bigger. The pockets are less forgiving. Uh, the strategy is uh, much more critical. Do you think you'd get an Oscar for this? Uh, that's not anything that I think very much about. But prizes are okay if you win them. They're not so good if you don't win them, but it's rather nice Well, to I win. tried to explain it this morning. It, it's, uh, it's, it's been a long time. And it's like chasing a beautiful woman for 80 years, and she, she finally says, well, here I am. And you say, and so? Now what? So, I don't know. Um, I, I guess I may have been competitive about acting at one point in my life. I'm certainly not competitive anymore. It'd be still nice to use it to stop the door open with, wouldn't it? Well, it, it would create some kind of balance in the house. Uh, every time I get into an argument with Joanne about uh, cooking or how to launder shirts, she just shakes her Oscar at me and I'm dead in the water. So it will kind of be the great equalizer now <laughs> after 33 years. Sickening. Is there such a thing as pillow talk of the Newmans? Does she say, I don't like what you did today, don't ever do it again? Constantly. So you never sleep? Well, yes, but at odd times. <laughs> through lunch and through dinner a lot. And, and that kind of thing. Uh, school Daisy. I'd rather stopped you, didn't it? Yeah, it did. I, I took a big <laughs> swallow in the middle of that, didn't I? I was going to ask, is your voice always as deep a register as that which... No, I... I've had the flu since November 2nd. And what efforts are you making to rid yourself of this disease? Well, I've just bought a revolver. <laughs> <laughs> Have you got the book of rules that goes with it? There doesn't seem to be any book of rules with this thing. It's, uh, it's, it's clinging like a kind of wet T-shirt. Where will you... Um look for the next script. I mean, presumably there are piles by the desk side, on the top of the desk. Do you have somebody who reads these and says, this is yours? Well, I have a young fellow who, who 
reads them first, who's had an excellent eye, and um, I don't necessarily depend on that. I just know it's very dry out there. I, I know I'd like to do at least two films a year, and now it's getting lucky if I do a film every two years. Mm. But maybe there isn't the same need and, and power and drive to prove yourself inside you. That no, there are no good scripts out there. I mean, to, to give you an example, uh, Redford and I made this thing 13 years ago. George Ray Hill and Redford and I have been looking for a script to do together for 13 years. We have not been able to find one that we felt that we liked enough for the three of us to, to uh, be in it together. It's not out of lack of desire, it's simply out of lack of material. How is your memory? Terrible and getting worse. And what do you do to help yourself? Do you make lists or do you...? They say choline is good. What is that? That's a massage parlor outside of Westport, Connecticut. No. You can it's remember a, the address. It's a vitamin. <laughs> <laughs> but can you remember things, nasty things, that people have written about you in the past? Does your memory serve you that well? I can remember almost, yes, yes, quite, quite, yes, I can. Do you need an example? Mm. I'll take one if you've got one. In the New Yorker magazine, in the first picture that I ever did, called The Silver Chalice, uh, the New Yorker magazine said, uh, Mr. Newman delivers his lines with the emotional fervor of a Putnam stop conductor announcing local stops. <laughs> and it didn't get much better, actually. But how come you can remember that and you can't remember? Uh, where you've left your tie clip or your... Well, I remember the bad things and I have trouble remembering the good things. Well, you but sure that's par for the course. You sure as hell have a lot of good things to remember, don't you? No, but I can listen to them while you tell me. Well, you've got, you've, you've got a good wife and you've got something in your eye which is No, I was just winking. I've yeah, got I a good wife. Probably were. And uh, you've got a fairly... Um, fulfilled career, which in a kind way allows you to choose whatever work you may want to work at, given the right material. I'm very fortunate. And you're wealthy. Yes. And there are those people who say you're a good-looking guy. What do they know? There was one person in the whole world who ne didn't know that you were an actor, that you got a, a note or a message from, whose girlfriend um, introduced him you to your hear? salad dressing. I just heard on a great little grapevine that this guy didn't know you were an actor, sent you a note. Do you remember that note? Yes, as a matter of fact, I have it hanging in my office, in the bathroom, as a constant reminder to be modest. Uh, it said that um, it was addressed to me, and it, uh, it was addressed to the salad dressing company in Connecticut, and he just said, uh, my girlfriend and I just had this terrific, uh, he's girlfriend, GF, my GF and I just had this terrific uh, dinner. We just whipped home and scattered your wonderful spaghetti sauce over a case of spaghetti, and it was just terrific. And she also told me that you did movies. Uh, is any of your stuff on cassettes? Can we get something for us to look at? Well, it does take you down a little bit. Paul Newman down from Mount Rushmore for the day. If you want to know how tall he really is, he's exactly the same height as me. That's about there. But the similarities absolutely end there. The Colour of Money opens here in a couple of weeks and I'll be reviewing it then.